Hey guys, Fusebox, back on Brave Shadow Legends, and this is going to be pretty straightforward, right? So I'm going to load up energy, a little over a thousand energy. I'm going to go ahead, and I haven't gotten anything in uh, probably a couple months. I haven't bought anything on the game, so I've got an energy pack. I'm going to put some auto runs in, and I'm going to run the heck out of Fire Knight, okay? But what's the purpose in this? Simply, most young accounts, the only thing holding you back is gear. That's it. It's just gear. And a lot of your energy does have to go into gear. And then it feels discouraging because you run and you run and you run and you get like maybe three decent pieces out of 30. Run the heck. A thousand energy. What does a thousand energy get you? And remember, I'm running stage 25 where the odds are better that I'm going to get legendary gear, six star gear. 20 is absolutely a perfectly fine goal, even 19, 18, as long as you're getting five and six star gear if you're early game. But we're going to look at the end. Well, you know, how much do we get that looks like decent gear for a very early game player, kind of a mid game player? And then look at the sad truth of how many pieces you get if you're an end game player and just see how it turns out. All right. Time to look at the ugly truth and the reality of how hard you have to work to get gear. Because remember, the only difference in your team and the guy that you're up against in arena or your team and my team when it comes to whatever it is you're doing in the game is probably just gear. Uh, you're going to get champions over time. Don't don't rush into that. Uh, but if you're ever going to spend money and time on this game, invest it into energy, whether that's through gyms or energy packs. Uh, even chickens will buy you progress, right? But shards are going to break your heart. So people who want to low spend, get themselves something every month. That's about what I do. Uh, this is kind of where you want to be doing it, and you'll probably see why by the end of this. So I'm going to save all five and six star gear so we can look through it at the end. We'll have a little bit of fun along the way, but we're going to race to the end and see what we land on.
1060 effective energy. That means we got 53 runs. Uh, I sold the garbage. And so here's what we're left with. This is this is all of our loot in the end. We've got a piece that could roll really good. Uh, it's an odd set, but it is a six star crit damage with crit rate. That's solid. If it hits defense a couple times, could be great for a defensive hero. Uh, and we do have crit rate, speed, and crit damage. This could roll up pretty good, even though it's a five star. It's it's the kind of piece I could see mid game, early game for sure holding on to. Uh, same with this. We we could put you know HP, crit rate, crit damage, stun set. They're very useful for early game, so that's handy. I didn't have a lot of luck when it comes to Savage Gear. But I did get this has crit rate and HP. A hard hitting HP champion might love that piece if even you know it's not that great, but same thing here. HP and crit rate, and it's pretty small rolls, so nothing to write home about. And then I hold on to this because if you were early to mid game, this could actually be a good piece for an early gamer uh trying to get savage gear to do you know their arena nuker. You hit a couple rolls on crit rate and it it's kind of hard to come by. So I held on to it to look at it. Crit rate goes with HP percentage and speed. Not too bad. If I'm trying to get just 100% crit on some high HP champion, that might be useful. And it is shield set. Really good for arena if you're going second. Uh, we've got attack percentage boots with speed. I have to hit speed all three times because these sets are garbage. More than likely, half of these will be sold as soon as I roll them. Crit rate and HP, but it's immunity set, six star. Just have to see how that lands, how it rolls. Uh, this is really not a great piece, but HP percentage is good on regeneration gear, so I like it. I like this a little bit less, but defense percentage could be useful. Crit rate might roll up. I'll just see how it looks when I roll it a few times. HP percentage with speed, again, I need to hit speed all four, three times. Probably going to be sold. And then an attack chest with horrible substats. Uh, if you were early game, a six star attack chest, you would want to keep, but uh, you really, your only bet here is to hit crit damage a lot, like three or four times. Maybe, I mean, it, it's an odd piece. So really, we didn't get a whole lot. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. This is from Clan Boss. So 13 pieces of gear, probably gonna sell over half of those out of 1000 energy. And the whole point of this is so you can kind of see what it takes to get gear. The only way your arena team gets faster if you need speed is running dragon. That's it. The only way you get that lifestyle gear if you're trying to do clan boss is dragon. The only way to get shield sets, immunity sets, frenzy sets, if you're trying to make a ghost second team, these are really valuable for those ghost second arena teams. You got to run fire knight, uh, whatever stage you can. Uh, obviously, savage gear for your nukers. That's all in fire knight. Banners with speed under them, resistance banners, accuracy banners. It all comes from the spiders. You've got to run these dungeons. And that just shows a thousand energy. You could have better luck. You could have worse luck. But that was stage 25. Keep that in mind. So the luck will be a little bit, should be edging towards uh, in my favor from running 25. So if you're on 20, you know, you'll have slightly less luck. Uh, just showing you, you know, to build your teams, you need gear. And that's. That's actually better than I've seen. Uh, it, it can be brutal. If I was trying to get a Savage set, 1,000 energy didn't even get me close. You see, if I was trying to get me a, a Shield set for an Arena Go second team, uh, you know, looking for HP percentages and speed under them, we didn't even get close to putting together one piece of set. So get out there, hit those dungeons, grind away. The game does do most of the work. You see, you, you create the team, and then the game takes over from there. Uh, especially if you got an auto-clicker. But anyways... Hopefully you got something out of it. It was a little interesting for me to actually sit through. Uh, it's enlightening, if nothing else. So definitely one place you want to be spending energy if you're still a growing account is pounding away at gear. It's the only way to catch up with the next guy because they're running it too, right? You got to keep up. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, enjoy the grind.